Before we uh, start off this weird, confusing adventure, I must take you back a few days to December 17th of 2023 at about 9 in the morning Eastern Standard Time. I was trying to download another Game Jolt fan game called War for the World, and while I was trying to download it, I accidentally downloaded this other mod called Sonic.exe Full Story. Now, I originally thought it was World War of the World until I saw the file name, but um, did I complain though? No, I decided to sit down and play the game I had accidentally downloaded instead. And oh boy, was I in for a ride. This game is, without a doubt, the weirdest game I've ever played on this channel. The other ones don't even come close. Close. This game, made by Matt Serious and released on November 6th of 2022, is possibly the worst game that, seemingly, almost no one has ever heard of. There's barely any representation on YouTube, only one comment, and surprisingly 14 followers. So with all of the previews out of the way, let's talk about some more things. First off, ignore the weird resolution. I guess OBS could only record the game in the top right corner of the screen for some reason, so I had to manually enhance the image, which was definitely a very fun process. Secondly, there's more footage I recorded going over some menu options, but there really wasn't anything in any of them, so I just decided not to enhance that third footage. Thirdly, there is this weird fan character that appears throughout the game, but for the most part, he does nothing, so you can ignore him for this video. So with everything above out of the way, let's actually start exploring this game. When you open the game, you get a bunch of menu options, which, like said previously, mostly do nothing, so clicking on new game is pretty much the only thing you can do. Oh, also, this screen is one of the few things in this game not in Russian, so be prepared for that, I guess. Anyways, then the opening cutscene plays. Once that is over, we get possibly the longest cutscene I have ever seen in a Sonic.exe fan game. Here's a timestamp if you do not want to see this weird, incredibly long psychedelic cutscene. So with that out.
title screen appears, a jump scare happens, and Act 1 of Green Hill starts with some weird music, absolutely horrendous movement controls, and weird mania-like graphics in the top right. Getting to the end of the stage causes this to happen. And with whatever that was out of the way, we now have to go through Angel Island, which is just as uneventful as Green Hill. Then we get sent here, and you know what, I can't even describe this, so I'm just gonna show you everything quickly, and then we can move on. Once that weirdness is over, Sonic then gently falls onto some fence-looking spikes while this annoying ringing noise plays in the background. Then a bunch of red rings are forcefully collected by him, which I assume turns him into Sonic.exe, and then Tails' run starts in Blood Hill Zone. Yes, that is the official title for this zone if you check the level select screen. Anyways, Tails gets to the end of the stage, does some talking, and then the fan character appears? Yeah, no clue why this happens, but it does. Then we skip to Knuckles, who does some easy platforming before entering this weird portal, and now it's off to Eggman, who enters the game like this. This is where I died because this boss fight is pretty much impossible due to the poor hit collision and dying here also reset the game back to the beginning. If anyone wants to complete this game or somehow beat this running section or translate the game into English, please link your perspective or translation in the description. But yeah, that is pretty much it. There was this weird credit screen I was able to find, but other than that, this game was pretty much uneventful for the short time I had to play it. Do I think it would have improved later on? No, considering the official trailer for this game sounded and looked like this. Yep, this is the official trailer, and you can watch all four minutes of this if you check the link in the description. Overall, I give this game a 3.5 out of 10. The movement controls were bad, the first boss fight was impossible, the intro cutscene was three minutes long, the story is a jumbled mess, and the graphics are either stolen or really bad. But, I mean, I did enjoy the wacky and absurd aspects of this game a lot, I guess, considering I don't think I've ever seen a fan game trailer that had not one, not two, but three different trailers inside of said trailer. Honestly, if the developer just fully leaned into these wacky aspects of this game without making it one of those terrible parody games, I would love it a lot more. But, because this seems sincere, the rating stays the same until either the game gets some major improvement updates, which it probably won't as the game is a year old, or changes its aspect which it probably won't as the game is a year old. Oh, also I think the developer quit entirely, so that also contributes as to why this game will forever have a 3.5 out of 10, making it, as of this video, the lowest rated game I have played.
Thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully the next one will be released on the 21st or the 22nd of December. I'm trying to release some final videos for this year that will blow your shoes away. And also, thank you very much for getting me from 840 to 870 subs in not even a week. Which is insane, considering this is a completely new thing for me to start doing. So yeah, thank you guys very much. Hopefully we can get to 1k by the end of the year. It seems rather likely if I keep getting around 9 to 10 subs per day. But yeah, thanks for watching. Like, subside, and goosebibe!